Hello, welcome back to Coding Everywhere. Today we'll continue coding in Python the solution to our inequality problem by adding a function. A function is a block of code, of code that you can write once and invoke multiple times. A function will have parameters that can be different at different invocation. I will start by defining a function that prints a variable. So, we start by saying def and then the name of the function print variable the parameters that will be changed at different invocation which are name description value and units once we define the parameters in the name of the function we type colon we indent it with two spaces and we are saying the code that will run using the parameters. So we'll say print name, comma, is, okay, and then the description. Then we end the sentence with a period. And the second sentence will say, what is the value? The value is, we'll print the value then, a space again, the units, and then we'll print the period for the second sentence. So that's the definition of the function. And then we will invoke it for bt and f. So we'll have print variable name is b description is the height of the first floor value is 20 and then units are feet and we close the parentheses same thing for t print variable t then the description of t which is a height smaller than the building's height then the value which is 254 and then the units which are also feet and we close the parentheses same thing for f print variable f is the name of the variable then the description is the number of the remaining floors value it's unknown so we'll just have the word unknown And the units are also fit. I will close the parentheses and then for x we have print variable variable name is x the description it's the average height of the remaining floors well this is not unknown this is 26 is known x is unknown and the units are feet I will correct my mistake here with there are no units for the number so I put I leave empty here so let's see everything seems right I will save and see if I get what I'm expecting. So I'll execute solution.py. Okay, so I have all the variables printed by the same function. So they are in the same nice format. Name is, description, the value is, so, so, and the units. So what we learned today, we learned how to define a function with the keyword defined, then the name of the function, the name of the parameters listed one after each other, then the code 
indented we put I put two spaces and then how I am calling the function so when I'm calling this one the name will be B the height the description will be the height of first floor the value will be 20 and then the units fit so I can call it multiple times thank you very much for watching